Hello, everyone. How are you? This is Teacher Dennis. And it's nice to see you again. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope that you are all in good condition. Let's review first. Unit 10, Lesson 1, In the Park. Vocabularies, path, grass, flowers, garbage can, playground, trees, fountain, litter. Alright, so those are the words that we have learned last week. Let's begin our new lesson. Now, open your student book and workbook to page 81. We are now in Unit 10, Lesson 2. We are going to discuss modal verbs must and mustn't so let's start we are going to learn about modal verbs must and mustn't okay so stay tuned when to use must and mustn't must must we can use must in a sentence to talk about something we need to do it's required and necessary to do All right, now, we are going to use, must, in sentences. So watch carefully. Simple things must do during COVID-19. 1. I must wear a mask. 2. We must wash our hands. 3. You must stay at home. More examples using must. 1. I must do my homework. 2. She must clean her room. 3. He must go to school. 4. They must eat fruits and vegetables. So those are some sentences using must. Mustn't or must not. Mustn't. We use this to talk about things we need to avoid, and it is important that you do not do something. Mustn't, it is prohibited and it is not allowed. Mustn't is a negative obligation and it's the opposite of must. So, did you get it? Mustn't, or must not. Alright, now, we are going to use, mustn't in sentences. So watch carefully. Things we mustn't do during COVID-19. 1. We mustn't go to crowded places. 2. You mustn't put down your mask. 3. We mustn't physically close to each other. More sentences of mustn't. 1. I mustn't disobey my mom. 2. We mustn't play in the rain. 3. She mustn't eat in the library. 4. You mustn't shout at anyone. So those are the sentences using mustn't. Before we end, this will be your homework. Workbook, page, 81, do activities, 1, 2, and 3. That's all for today. Study hard and do your best. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.